I just don't always want to be the good guy. You know, somebody has an issue, and what, it's my job to help them out? I mean, what's up with that? Baby, it's about caring for your friends. They know you do, so they come to you. That's a compliment. I waited for you at the bar last night. Yeah. The bartender told me that uh, you left to go home with Macy. Can we go out on the street? No. We must find a job now. Ah, Elsa. Det får du faktiskt strunta i det, för just nu är det något viktigare. Vi måste prata om din pappa. Sorry to hear that. Yes, I understand. We'll have to reorder. Well, of course, that's going to alter the damn shipping date. Will, you okay? It can wait. So fill me in on the uh, Stefan situation. Well, Charlotte is breaking the cursey right now, and I'm going to catch up with Alex. My god, Will. How can your whole life fall apart right in front of you and there's not a damn thing you can do about it? Martin, there is something you can do. Find out who's responsible for all this. I had two good friends in this life. Jack Hamilton and, and Stefan. Two men I trusted with my life. My family, everything. Now they're gone and no one can tell me why. Apparently the woman we all loved She's gone too. Will, do you... Do you think all of this is my fault? Thanks, Freddy. Thanks, sweetie. Thank you. Favorite. Your your favorite. Thank you, Davy. Um any word on that big deal uh, uh corner yet? It's, it's kinda exciting and all, you know, like a good uh, uh uh comic book mystery. You know, waiting to see who how it turns out. Yep, a regular who done it. Um if Harry asks, um, I went on a field trip for the rest of the day, okay? Okay, bye, Davey. Vigorin put on the scooter. Whatever you have to say to me, you can say in front of Gabby, okay? I can go. No, you can stay. Look, you're my best friend, and I want you to hear whatever spiteful, mean thing she has to say to me. Chrissy, not the hand. No! No, nothing has happened, because you're just going to lie again. And I'm not going to believe you, so? Chrissy, I think you need to listen no. to her. 
I have to go to a fitting and Tony will kill me if I'm not there in five minutes. So I have to go, okay? Chris, I'm going to get him. Snälla, snälla, listen to me. I'm so sorry. No, no, you're not sorry. You're not sorry and you're lying, okay? You're lying. Stefan is dead. They hit him in the morning and saw him. You see how she lies? Look at her. She says lying. No, it's not okay. It's not okay because he just wants to hurt me. I've never hurt you. I'm not talking about this, okay? That's not gonna fly. I need massive coverage, you know? This is like the fashion event of the year, okay? Uh-huh. Yeah, right. Better. There you go. Well, get back to me with the time for that interview. Perfect. Ciao for now. Damn it. I don't know why Lucas doesn't answer his cell. It's when they start answering all the time, that's when you gotta worry, sweetie. Hadley? I thought that was you, precious. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, you look beautiful today. Mm -hmm. Um, you haven't seen Lucas, have you? Lucas, well, let's think about this a minute. It's before noon, so, uh, well, if all the bars are closed, more than likely he's in bed, nursing a very nasty hangover. Hopefully, alone. Hey. I wanted to thank you for the other night. It was really nice to talk to someone and actually have them pay attention. Well, it is hard to listen to someone when you're so damn busy looking at them. <laughs> but uh, I should actually be thanking you, because I had a fantastic time myself. I did too. You did? Well, maybe we should do it again. Very soon. Okay. All right. See you later. Okay. Um. Bye. Chrissy, I just heard. I'm so sorry. I don't I'm so sorry. sorry. Chrissy, wait. Lucas, let her go. I promise Stefan I'll take care of her. She needs to sort this out on her own. What about you? Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Just still a little numb. I'm sorry for your loss. I've never been formally introduced. I'm Gabby uh, Hamilton. I'm sorry. Um, Gabby's Antonio's new assistant. Yeah. Well, Tony has spoken very highly of Gabby. It's a privilege to work for him. I'm sorry about your brother. Thank you. Seems we've all been touched by terrible losses lately. I can't even imagine how you've been able to handle your mother's death. I always admired Anne's dignity and grace. Thank you for saying that. If uh, you'll excuse me, I'm just gonna go to the office and kind of keep myself busy. Okay. Lucas, why does it feel like the whole world is falling apart? Because that's what somebody wants us to think. We want to keep us off guard, vulnerable. Well, that's not going to happen. So, how good of a friend are we talking about here? <laughs> Don't worry. It's not tea. Oh, no, I never thought it was. That one has no problem saying everything to my face. No, actually, I was, I thought it was. And I know you and Jewel are worried about her. Okay, but Jody's gonna be all right. Now, how about that? Now you're even making me feel better. Aren't you a regular Boy Scout? Now, what's so bad about that, Dylan? Would you rather that people thought of you as some creep freak trying to get the girls to bend over so you could look down their shirts? <laughs> people think you're a nice guy. There are worse things than that, baby. Besides, I'm not ready to start a charity for you yet. You know, my dad always used to tell me, ignorance is bliss. Not always. For sure. 
but when somebody tells you something that just changes everything, you kind of wish that maybe, maybe they would keep it to themselves. Since I'm sure you're never gonna tell me who this is you're talking about, I've only got one thing to say. There's not a lot of reasons worth losing a friend. Especially at your age. Look, a couple years ago, I told a friend of mine it was either me or Marlboro. <laughs> Can you believe that? I mean, what was I thinking? That was stupid. <laughs> then I guess they went with Marlboro? Hell yeah! I mean, <laughs> you give somebody an ultimatum like that, that's what I would do. My life would just be a lot easier if all this friend needed was a... a nicotine patch. What I believe, Martin, is you want to find out what's happening, just like the rest of us. Thanks, Will. I do, I do want that. Please tell me if there's, there's anything at all, anything I can do to make it easier for Chrissy and Alex. Will do. I don't want to appear insensitive, but that last phone call was from the plant. And apparently there is no way to repack a millennia shipment and get it out to the test market on time. Why not? I believe I can answer that for you, Will. It seems the packaging just wasn't up to standard. That container just kind of fell apart, man. Uh, that's impossible. I picked out that container myself. A fact which did not escape my attention. I have the shipping order right here. This is not what I ordered. That's, that's your signature right there, right? That's you. William O'Keefe, that's, that's you. And it costs twice what it should have. Twice. I don't know what's happening here. I'm going down to the plant. I'll give you an advisory as soon as I can. You keep that copy for you. Looks like someone just got caught with his hand in the cookie jar. Hey, Dad. I wasn't feeling very well last night. That's why I left with Macy. Well, I called your cell. There was no answer. And then I called the house. Dr. Ebley said that you and Macy had retired for the evening. That is not what happened. I was tired. I closed my eyes, and uh, the next thing I know, Macy has locked me in my own bedroom. Locked? Well, why did you call someone to open the door? Oh, believe me, I tried. But nobody heard, and I guess I was just too sleepy to, uh... <sighs> Look, I, I don't know what's going on here, Sage, but if you're having second thoughts about us, just I, say it. I'm not having second thoughts. How can you even think that? Give me these lame, I got locked in my room stories, okay? But it's true. No, I, I don't know what happened. I closed my eyes and, yeah, I don't remember. Macy locked me in that room. <sighs> yeah, okay, you don't believe me. This is just like deja vu. Just like when you used to tell me that there was nothing between you and Macy and you end up marrying the creep. But that was different. Thomas. Please, believe me. Well, the last time I did that, I was waiting on a flight in Detroit. Why is this any different, Sage? It just is. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to do better than that. Hey, I missed you. 
missed you. I was wondering if you wanted to hang out so we could catch up. Yeah, cool. Are you, are you busy or something? No. Cool, let's go out, let's go somewhere. Okay, where? Anywhere, as long as we're alone, because I want to pop some pills. Kidding, just kidding. Yeah, sure. Oh, that sounds great. Um, let me just go get a shower, and then we'll get out of here. Okay. Uh, are you all right? I mean, I don't feel like we're on the same page here. Oh, no, yeah, I'm fine. Just, uh, I'm just kind of tired. Okay. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go clean up, and then we'll get out of here. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Hey, I got some new CDs, and they're killer. You should check them out. Okay. Jag tror att hon behöver ensam ett tag. Hon släpper inte någon på sig. Nej, men då måste vi fortsätta försöka. Är du säker på att det är okej? Jag känner mig bedövad. Jag fick i alla fall säga till pappa att jag älskar honom. He's been alive all this time. Well, that explains a lot, doesn't it? Explains what? Anne's behavior, of course. The mood swings, the mysterious late night rendezvous. She was seeing Stefan the whole time. Did you know about this? I came as soon as I got your message. Has the coroner come out yet? Not yet, but it'll be pretty soon. <sighs> Dr. Kurtz, is it over yet? Not by a landslide. We're gonna have to run a toxicology report. We found a foreign substance in your mother's bloodstream. Are you saying somebody drugged my mother? Come on, you bastard. What did you do to me? I did what any loving husband would do if his wife had had a few too many and was over her limit. I took you home, I stripped you. You locked you me in my room, Macy. We are in a public place. Please exercise some sense of decorum, won't you? I don't know what kind of game you're playing. You're playing by my rules. And as long as you do that, everything will be as good as gold. And we both know how much you like all the glitters, huh? 
Hey, Tommy. How's your love life, man? Mine's fantastic. And it's getting better by the second. Did you see that? She couldn't even wait till we get home. I can only hope it'll be as good as it was last night. Another girl murdered? I better not find out it's one of yours. Look, Pop, I can't keep track of every freaking trick that comes into this place. Was she one of yours or not? You know exactly what Maisie's capable of. Knowing that, how can you possibly think I want to be with him instead of you? Because you were with him, I saw him. You know what, Thomas? Why don't you do exactly what you did five years ago and just walk away? Considering Anne's relationship with Stefan, it could look very bad for you if the coroner attributes her death to anything other than natural causes. Are you accusing me of something? Kevin? 